Ms. Uh, Gonzalez is here to talk about item 9B. But a, but a question I would ask as we go through this, we really don't have a set, is whether the individuals either directly or indirectly receive profit from the waiving of these fees for the use of the facilities. So I think, again, that's something to consider. Thank you. Look at that. Um, so uh, going forward, uh, Ms. Gonzalez, would you please state your name? Novella Gonzalez. Okay, and she is here talking to us about item 9B, discuss and consider a request from Novella Gonzalez for the waiver of the fees of the Pearsall Civic Center for a dinner for the senior class of 2023. Yes. This is an action item. I'll ask for a motion. Motion by Councilman Governor. We have a second. Okay. Second by Councilwoman Calamantes. I'm going to turn the floor over oh, to oh, Mrs. Thank y'all. It'll be the second year doing this. Last year was a lunch and this year will be a dinner. So um, thank you, Mr. Gunn, that I attend last year's event. So it'll be a yearly thing, hopefully. You, you, you do this out of your pocket. Yes, sir. I don't make profit of anything I do. There's nothing. Nothing. Everything I do is free, honestly. Yeah. Well, yes. That's very Mary, yes, go ahead, Councilwoman. Okay, Novella, I want to thank you for everything that you've done for our community. It's 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 a lot, and as a business owner, I know pulling out of your own pocket, especially in these times of inflation and all of that, that that means a lot to our community. The only thing that I have is that if we see the the now we see a repetitive uh, request for waivers to be waived, and it's not just you; it's a lot of people coming in. The only concern that I have is um, if we do for one, we do for all. If we're doing it as a business and you're promoting your business by giving everything free, that's to me, that's free advertisement on the tax dollars. Those are questions that I'm getting. What you're doing is very nice and it's, I mean, it's great. You know, I, you know, my kids attended your Easter egg hunt and they loved it. Um, I was out of town. If not, I would have been there. Um, it's just the only thing is, is that it starts getting to where people are coming in and can I request this? You know, we have another item on the agenda and another, our own home league never asked to request the fees and they paid it as well, you know? So the only thing is that my question is to you, is it gonna be your business name promoting this free luncheon or dinner this year? Or is it gonna be you personally? Because that is the question like that, you know, business owners are asking, is okay well can i have the civic center so i can promote my business and i'll give everything for free and the only thing is it starts a ripple effect you know but what you're doing is is good you know you're giving back to the community and that's what small town businesses should do you know and you're one of them that goes above and beyond like i have no problem with it and my thing is is that it's if we do for one we have to do for yeah all. but um, it's actually me, but it's funded by my business, if you know what I mean. Yeah, no, no. But that's no, where my it. money comes from. Yes, no, and I get it. Right. And that's where I just question, like, the advertising. You know, if we get another business that shows up tomorrow and says, hey, I need the Civic Center. We also have to, when, the, when we collect these fees for the Civic Center, those monies go back into the Civic Center to put toilet paper, to buy cleaning supplies, to maintain it, to be nice so people can use yeah, it. Using my request for like the Easter egg hunt, I do request, I do put on there if I need to provide a uh, toilet paper or anything, I will do it. I do put that on my Yeah, list. no, I'm just saying, it's just so, with everybody, yeah. you know, if you see that we have three different requests today, Yeah. you know, and it's not just you, it's other people. Yeah. But it's actually a nice building, I'll have a nice building to be yeah. utilized. And that's my whole Beautiful. thing is that yeah. if we're gonna be doing this for businesses or for individuals, I had one lady say, okay, I'm doing a birthday party and I'm gonna give out free candy and food. Can y'all waive my fees to the Civic Center? And that's how some people start to take it to another level. What you're doing, you're doing well. I've been to most of your events. This past one I wasn't, because I was out of town, but my kids were there. But um, that's the only thing that has me on the edge right now is because it's if I do for one, I do for all. And I'm a big preacher of that when it comes to approving mobile homes, lots, and properties. If I do for one, I'm gonna do for the other. So this one, I'm just gonna see what other questions the council has, and then I'll make my decision based on that. Council, are there any other questions? Yeah. I got the same the same uh, feedback that um, Rodriguez is, you know, discussed about, and. Um, you know, it's like she said, you know, we do get the feedback from other, you know, um, citizens here, you know, and they do tell us, you know, hey, you know, how 
how is it there? You know, why out like, You know, how is the electricity? How is all that going to be paid out? That's you know, our tax dollars is getting. You know, we're paying it out of our tax dollars and so on and so forth. And I do appreciate everything you do. You know, everything. I mean, I, I, I just feel the same way. You know, about the waivers and stuff. You know, because it comes back to us and it's just an ongoing thing. You know, I, I wouldn't have a problem if it was, you know, my building personally, but it's not. You know, it belongs to the city. Council, any other questions? Council, Ms. So, Ms. Gonzalez, so I, what I want to know is, do you talk to these, or do, have you visited with your parents or seen your sponsors um, as far as, do they help you in any way? No, or I sure think by myself. You, you I just invite them. You don't reach out to the school district and or? Usually I'll give a, the invitations to the counselor, the senior counselor, she can pass them out to uh -huh. the seniors. So, But you, I don't get, I don't ask for help from nobody. No. I don't. No, I don't. So you don't go to like senior sponsors or, or no, senior class? No, I just do everything by myself. Yes. Mm -hmm. And how many people normally show up to? How many um, people show last up year to? was the first year, and I can't remember. Approx I don't even remember how many. It wasn't that many. Mm -hmm. It was like maybe twenty-five, twenty-five people. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But this year, I've already had some people reserve it. So. Mm -hmm. Have you had any? Have you know of anybody else who does this mm -hmm. for the community? No. So you're promoting positive. Yes. Maybe to see if you should do so it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. I have a question. So, is this just for Pearsall? Because I, I got the same phone calls too. Is it for um, Pearsall and Petula, or is it just for Pearsall? Oh, no. I, I invited Pearsall and Dilly, but Dilly has prom. So, oh. mostly the ones so in reserve so far for, has been Pearsall. Pearsall. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? That's a little common. Maybe it would help you. Um, just to make it go on. I don't know. I don't want to speak on behalf of the school. I know we have a school representative here. Um, but maybe using um, the cafeteria for the seniors. And that's not at no charge, you know, because asking to waive the fees at the city, that's asking the taxpayers to waive your fees. You know, and if you would ask the school, mm -hmm. I know that we've hosted dinners, like after um, pre-games mm -hmm. at the high school, where we could utilize their gym. You know, I'm just trying to say, you know, just to, so you can continue giving back to the community oh, yeah. and we don't get this black backlash as members of the city you know because we are here to protect taxpayers dollars and to be fair and to be equal because this can turn out bigger than what it is I personally like don't have a problem like uh, Councilman Hernandez said if I owned it I'd be like come get it if I had the ice plant open I'd be like girl go get it you know I'll pay the light you know but right now I think there's a lot of questions being raised, and I know the kids are doing that, but maybe one little idea is asking the cafeteria, you know, and it's there for the school, you know? Yeah. So that's all I got to say. Council, any other questions? The only thing I got to say, I mean, I appreciate Novella and everything she's done, and, uh, you know, everything's been out of the pocket. And I agree with some of the statements that are being made here, but, you know, uh, it's been positive towards the community, and I know. The fee probably the, the fee is probably minimal at most for that for that, but you know she's uh, she's paying out of pocket, and uh, you know I think last year you know was the first year and I attended because of our, my daughter graduated and, and they were grateful for it. I mean it's, it's just showing a congratulatory you know statement to them you know because nobody's done it in the past. So I mean for these years seniors I'd be grateful for them as well and I, I and I get it you know but the school as well you know that's cool and uh, you know we gotta go back you know like we we uh, approved uh, you know waiving the fees to baseball teams softball teams and so on and so forth and they make money and off they of make it money. yes and you know and she's not making money out of it and I mean we can't go much further you know we've done it so I mean to me I you know I would like to see that but you know. Uh, be it, I mean, to me, I see it as case by case. It's not we do one, we do the other. You know, it's got to be case by case, and all, all of them are different in one aspect or another. You know, so I appreciate everything you do for the community, for the youth. You know, so, and, and I would just keep doing it. And, and yeah, you know, granted, it might not be approved. You know, but um, I know where I stand with that one. And, and uh, but you know, I, I would, you know, stop doing what you're doing. You know, keep doing. Yeah. Council, any other questions? Okay, I'd just like to make a comment too. First and foremost, uh, Novella, thank you. 
very much and it's very generous I, and I commend the council on um, this dialogue it, because it is good and I know it's stuff that we, we get feedback and it's a hard hard thing to do I would have a tendency to agree with uh, Councilman Gondon it's, it's kind of a case by case case because I know in some cases we, we've approved some a uh, whole lot of dialogue and again not knowing the full depth of that but but anyway I just first and foremost I think everyone here applauds you on what you're doing and thank you because it's substantial out of your pocket to do that, and I think I know you need to know it's out of your heart because you want to do something for these kids. So, Council, it is this great dialogue, and I, I completely understand um, that's why you're elected to make the tough decisions. So, we've got a motion in a second. I'm gonna, if there's no other questions, Here, one more comment. Sorry, I know I said I have no more comments, but I heard uh, Councilman Rachel say something right now where maybe we can go in, um, where we can go in conjunction with the city. And the city also, <laughs> we will donate the facility and it'll be sponsored by the city of Pearsall. But they did everything. Right and right. you use your name and not your business. Um, where the city donates the hall and we're also we're donating it. But I don't know if it'll be a liability if when the kids leave there. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm looking yeah. too much in it. Well, Councilwoman, it, 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 it's great, you know, figure out how we can make this work, but it's kind of the same thing. It, okay. Kind of, to me, it goes back, it's it's case by case, you know, is this, and, and it is. Folks out there in the audience, I mean, this is this is real. I mean, if, if we waive these fees, it costs the city money to run the lights, to clean it up, to do those kind of things. So it's a real uh, valuable de debate to have this conversation. So, again, going back to that, case by case, I mean, you guys, read the situation so if there's no other comments I'm gonna ask for a vote I'm gonna ask for a show of hands to keep them up all in favor of waiving the fee please raise your hand one two three all against raise your hand one two did I get that wrong all, all in favor please raise your hand one two three all what Wait, can, I, I, can I ask a question <laughs> can, can we do that though what to be next what Mr. Compton and Mr. Vegas said just to like there won't be any I'd like to you mean to do that? Ask, ask for a city sponsorship? Yeah, yeah, can I, I mean, can I touch on that? Yeah, Eric, remember, as council, we talked about these events during the budget. We asked what events, if any, we we're going to have. And I think the only response we got was one, which is the Hispanic Heritage that we were going to actually support us two or three others, excuse me, but primarily the Hispanic Heritage Festival. These were discussions that we had during the budget. Yeah. And so part of that, the other part is, in, in fairness to, to Anybody that's requesting a waiver, in my opinion, my, my recommendation to the council, it, 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 needs, it needs to be driven by policy. Yeah. I, I get the, you know, you know, we'll address it as it comes, but I think it's only fair to the people that are actually applying for this to let them know what your policy is, whatever that may be, whether you're going to grant the waiver or not, because at the end of the day, you're going to come into, well, you're doing it for them and not for us, and you're still fighting that fight. Yeah. Uh, where it should be, you know, we're going to do it or we're not, um, and, and again, if, if you want to change the policy at a later time, that's perfectly fine. It's just, they need, in fairness to them, uh, again, the applicants, they need to have some direction as, as far as the city's position, as far as the policy. So I would make that recommendation so that to the council. Good recommendation. We need a policy. Uh, mm -hmm. Or, you know, ordinances, but we probably need a policy to keep it fair. That being the case, we are at this position at this time. So I'm going to ask again, all in favor, please raise your hand. One, two, three. Okay, all against, please raise your hand. One, two, three. Tie, tie, I vote in favor. So the yep. fee is waived. Yeah, on, on account of the tie vote, the mayor yes, votes. And I, I vote affirmatively. So it's four to three. Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Thank you. That was a great debate. All right, moving on to item 9C, discuss and consider a request from the Tree of Life Academy PTO for the waiting <laughs> fees for the use of the Pearsall Convention and Civic Center for fundraising purposes. First and foremost, we have somebody here at okay, we do. Well, yeah. well, let me, for, at this particular point, I'm going to ask for a, for 9C, a motion and a second. Motion. There's a motion by Councilwoman Dalmatis. There's a second by Councilman uh, Gondada at this point. I'm going to turn the floor over to Sonia. Sonia, please state your name. Hi, good evening, Sonia Valdez Zamora. Good evening, Honorable Mayor and Honorable Council. I'm here on behalf of the Tree of Life uh, PTO 
We are a nonprofit organization. I did present a letter I submitted to Ms. Uh, Crystal Garcia, who was very helpful uh, in getting me here today. Uh, we are asking uh, to see if the city would waive the fees for the use of the convention and civic center. Um, we would like to host a designer bag purse bingo. Um, our school is a, again, nonprofit organization that receives no federal or state funding. So all the monies that our school receives and or collects is solely based on tuition that is paid for from the families of the students that attend there, any donations and several fundraisers that our PTO organization has throughout the year. We have our uh, annual garage sales that we have. We have about two of them per year. We have a raffle that's done in September, and we recently had our spring auction that was done uh, last Sunday. So that is how we, uh, we get monies is through the fundraisers. Uh, so I'm here to ask um, for donation or the waiving of the, uh, or some kind of assistance to use the, the facility. Okay, Sonia, thank you. You probably just heard the commentary right there. I did. Right I wanted to run out the door. Haters. <laughs> 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 this is democracy at its best. So, um, council, please, questions Mayor, for Ms. Sonia. Yes, well, you heard where I stand with yes, that. Yes, I do. And it's nothing against organizations. I have once waived a few fees for things, but I felt that it is becoming more and more. Which is okay because these buildings are what that's what they're used for. But sometimes it can get us into a whole nother other level. Yes. I know with Tree of Life it is a nonprofit, you know, it is um, set up for privileged kids, you know, that are able to pay for education out of their pocket. Um, which is so I'm so glad that these children have that option in our town, that they're able to pick another school, more one on one needs for them. I just wish I could, I just if I vote once for some, against somebody, it's nothing personal. It's just where I stand with the feedback I get from the community. Like I said, if I owned the building, I would donate it in a heartbeat. But I, right now, I know, I don't think it's case by case because how are we gonna tell the people why we voted for one and not the other? Um, because anytime anybody's asking for help, it's the same help, they need help. It, it could either be, if we're making a decision, it's going to be based on a name or who it is, and I'm not like that. I'm fair across the board, and I wouldn't do case by case. You know, I would love to help. I'll probably be there. You know, we'll have a Louis Vuitton. Yeah, I'll, I probably <laughs> definitely will buy a few tickets. But um, I have to stand, stay with what I feel because I am not here for myself. I'm here for what the people want me to ask, and these are questions that I get. And I'm sure they won't have a problem with any of y'all posting it. It's just questions that they're asking about the tax dollars. And I'm sure everybody will be there too as well. But I wish I could say yes, but I can't. Because I just voted no against something else. Thank, thank you. Understand. Thank you for that. Council, any other comment? We appreciate that. Anybody else? I just had a couple of questions. Uh, other than the fees that, you know, that that are accumulated for, for the drawing, I guess, for the bingo you are drawing having. Is there anything like a gate type of fee? No, um, so uh, the plan is it's $35 per ticket. Um, all of the designer bags will be asked to be donated. Um, and then we'll have like VIP tables, and those are gonna be at a cost too. So everything is just for the, for the school. Right. And, Anyway, I already had this two two questions, and uh, is any, anyone anyone able to attend enrolled in uh, TOLA? I mean, is that it looks like you you saying that the funds being raised are for tuition as well? For the ones is that is that the main so reason, any, right? Anybody can register for TOLA. So right. what TOLA has is they have um, where they can apply for scholarships, and they mm -hmm. doesn't pay the whole tuition. It just pays for. Is it 250, Mr. Robertson, or 150? Do you know? It's 150. 150. It's 150. The, the family has to submit an application. The, uh, there's a, a board that reviews the applications and they approve or, or deny the, the applicant. They have a criteria they must follow. So there is no fee to enter the bingo. The only fee is to buy the tickets to play. Yes. Right. Okay. 
And these proceeds, Sonia, these proceeds coming out of this particular fundraiser, where are they being used? It's going back to the school and it pays for supplies. It, uh, it helps with the tuitions, uh, sorry, the scholarships that Mr. Councilman uh, found that I was asking about that goes towards uh, the scholarships for the students that do qualify. And it goes for uh, any uh, things that the teachers may need. Uh, teacher salaries may also 